If any of you runners are like me, then you have to have something in your ear, especially if you run alone a lot of the times. When I'm running with somebody, I like to chit chat, but when I'm running alone, I like to have some form of music, podcast, um, audio books. I like to have something to keep my brain engaged. Um, so me being a person who likes to listen to something when I'm running, I have gone through a lot of different headphones. Even today, I d use different headphones for different things because I'm a lover of music, I'm a lover of books, and I like to stay informed. So I also like to listen to a lot of podcasts. So even when I'm not running, there's usually a headphone in my ear because um, I have something else going on. So I would say all of that to show you that I actually am a person who uses headphones a lot compared to probably the average person. So I felt that it was only right that I do a headphone review for you as runners and also people who just looking to see what's best and what they're thinking about buying for their day-to-day -day life. So I'm going to review three different types of headphones that I am using now for different purposes in my life because I have been running a really long time and I think I figured out what works and doesn't work for me, but we all have different ears. The same pair of headphones that one person finds comfortable, another person won't. So we'll get into all that, but I just got one question for you. What's in your ear? Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Temple Running with MJ Smith. I am MJ Smith. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you are new here, welcome to Temple Running. And if you are returning, hey, good to see you again. And if you're new, I hope I'll see you again sometime soon. But today, as I said in the intro, we're going to go through a review of three types of headphones that I use currently. I'm going to start with my most recent purchased pair for my birthday this year. I got some, a pair of the Beats, Power Beats Pro. And these are totally wireless, high performance Bluetooth headphones. And they come in their own charging case and I absolutely love them. This is the charging case, which kind of is um, a good size. I mean, it's, it's pretty big, but it can charge these headphones for up to nine hours of consistent use. I have never had headphones that last nine hours, but here are the um, headphones inside. I got the pink pair. They come in several different colors. These are very good because they hook around your ear so they don't go anywhere, all right? As soon as they go in your ear, they connect with your phone, and in one touch, you can start playing music or audiobook or whatever you were last listening to on your phone will start playing. If you don't wanna to listen to what you were last listening to, then you need to go into your phone and set it, but it's already synced, you just start. The great thing about these headphones, they're also, they also pick up very good voice for phone calls. You will not miss a call. And people have said that they can hear me very well. I've never gotten any complaints. So that is a plus for me um, when I am using wireless headphones because I literally walk around my house with one of these in my ear pretty much the whole day because of the amazing battery life. You get 24 hours of charge with the case. So nine hours outside the case of steady play and 24 hours if you take the case with you and charge them back up. So that's amazing. Um, you can go a full day playing these things without ever having to plug them into the wall. So that's pretty good for camping and Ragnars and different things like that where you are not around um, where you need to charge. They are sweat and water resistant. The other great thing is even if you lose all your charge, you can put them back in this case and you can get an hour and a half worth of play by just charging them for five minutes. So you can be completely dead, charge them for five minutes, you're going again for an hour and a half. So those mornings you wake up and you're like, oh, I forgot to charge my headphones. Guess what? Go ahead, put them in the case while you're brushing your teeth 
and they'll be good for your run for a pretty long run too with an hour and a half time on them. So definitely keep these in mind when you're thinking about a good running headphone. One of the best things I like about this is that I'm totally free. This is my first pair of running headphones that I am totally free. I don't worry about them. I will tell you when I first got them, they hurt my ear a little bit and it wasn't because I didn't have the right size in because I tried all of the earbuds. It comes with several sets, but it took my ear a minute to adjust to them. I don't know why. So they kind of were sore for like uh, my first few uses, but now I'm fine. It was the same way with me with AirPods. I think I just have a small inner ear and it has to be, I don't know, broken in or <laughs> whatever. Those are the Powerbeats Pro um, in the pink, cloud pink. Cloud pink is what I have. These run, Amazon is having a crazy good sell on these right now. I'm gonna put the link below, seriously. And it's not just because I have um, Amazon Associates account. These on Amazon is $159.95 right now. You can get the spring yellow, you can get the moss color, which is like the olive green, and you can get the lava red for $159.99. When I bought these, they cost, or when they were bought for me, they cost $250. So that's like a hundred bucks off. And you're getting the same thing, same functions, same great features. I'm not trying to sell them. I'm just telling y'all I love these headphones and for $159, they are worth it. The next headphones I'm going to talk about is the Apple AirPods. And I got mine in this case because it matches my phone and my iPad and my MacBook. I have all my accessories matching, cute. All right, so the AirPods, as I said, I have them in this case, but these are, these are not the first generation. These are the second generation of the regular AirPods, because I think the new ones are called AirPod Pros that come in the wider case. These are great for just walking around the house, forgetting about them. They stay great for me, and they have a great microphone for phone calls and things like that. So this is these are usually what I have in my ear during my day when I'm working from home. The reason why I um, don't use these for running, I have tried to use these for running, I sweat inside my ear and these will come off, okay? They don't stay very well once the inside of my ear gets wet. So if you have AirPods and you're able to run in them, more power to you. I heard that the new, the pros are a little easier because they have a rubber piece on the end that sticks inside your ear and helps them stay a little better. But I just always feared I'd be running and this thing will fly out of my ear and I will lose my headphones. So I personally do not love running in these. Some people do and they work great. Like I told you, headphones are so weird because different headphones work and don't work for different people. Um, and it's because we all have different ears really and it all depends on the, um, on the fit for your ear. And AirPods only come in one fit, which is very different, you know, than the other two that I have in this review today because they all have different sizes you could put on based on the size of your ear. These do not. So you have to either love them or hate them. Just like the AirPod, um, the Powerbeats Pros, these also hurt my ear for the first few couple weeks or week or two that I wore them. And then my ear got adjusted and now they're comfortable. I forget I have it in some time. I'm walking around the house with it in my ear. Um, but it's fantastic. It has different controls so that you can do the one tap, two tap to get to different songs. Oh, I just started it. So it has those controls. The power beats have, um, I'm sorry, I keep going back and forth because I keep remembering stuff as I'm talking about the next thing. The power beats actually have a button. Let me see. They have a button at the top there. If you can see that and that button um, lets you switch the tracks, but this on the front is also a button and you can click that and it will start playing. Um, and if you click it twice, you can switch tracks as well. And then the volume is that button I was showing you at the top. So the controls are all one tap there, two taps there, same as the AirPods. They both have very similar features in that way. Both Apple products, love them. You guys know how much I love Apple 
And so last but not least, um, I also, up until I got the Power Beats in August, I was using these Bose Sound Sports. And I use these for running, even though I have the AirPods, because like I told you, the AirPods weren't very good for me running. Um, so the reason why I'm taking them out the box right now is because I actually got a new pair because they went out on me right before I got the Power Beats Pros. Um, so it made it impeccable timing for me to get the Pros. But the reason, um, this is probably my second pair of these. They have a really excellent warranty, so I always get a new pair. But the thing I want, the thing I want to point out is on all of these, I bought the warranty. Buy the warranty for your headphones. Over the years, I've used those warranties so many times. Headphones just aren't meant to last forever, especially when you're sweating and running in them. So make sure that you get the warranty because here I am with a brand new pair of headphones because I got the warranty. So they come out the box and these have, they're wireless, but they have a cord. Sometimes the cord can be convenient because then it gives you some place to put the headphones when you're not using them, right? Um, and it makes you feel a little more secure because um, you have some place to put them if you're out. I don't feel right leaving without my case, which makes the AirPods the best option for like, if I'm on the go, like I want to stick something in my purse in case I'm at the store or somewhere where I might want to put some music in my ear. This is what I throw in my purse because these are just a lot to carry um, when I'm on the go. So benefit of the AirPods is that they're small and compact, even in their case. And I need the case because I don't want to lose the headphone. So as soon as they come out my ear, they go back into the case. So that's why these are better for that. So I just try to keep throwing those comparisons in so you all can see the pros and cons. What I didn't like about these is with the cord, I didn't want the cord on my neck. So I would take it and tuck it into my ponytail or put it over my ponytail like this. And so it worked. It was fine. It wasn't a big deal. But I didn't want this thing flopping because when it flops, it pulls. But these earbuds themselves stay in so well. No matter how much you sweat, no matter how much water is running on you, these headphones stay well. The sound is amazing. And I didn't talk about the sound on the headphones. I will tell you out of the two wireless options, the AirPods for me have better sound. And I don't know if it's because they go deeper into your ear, but I love the sound on my AirPods. The sound is a lot more crisp and it gets a lot louder. With the Beats Pro, the sound is good. They get loud, but I think after I was rocking with these for so long, I'm like, eh, the sound isn't to me, quite as great as the AirPods. That's my opinion. Some of you may have both. Tell me in the comments below what you think, if you feel differently when it comes to these two, but I think these probably have better sound than all of them. These headphones have amazing sound. So that is a benefit of these. These run, um, I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you what the AirPods run. Let me see what the AirPods are running these days. Okay, so I went back and looked and the Apple AirPods are running about one, one ninety nine to one fifty nine. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe the older ones are ninety nine. These are probably the ones that are one fifty nine on Amazon. I will put the link below. Not bad for these um, headphones. And they also have the power of a 24 hour battery life, just like the Beats. Um, you can get more than 24 hours with the case. Without the case, you can get up to five hours. So that's why I told you those beats, as far as their playtime, nothing's really messing with it that I've seen. So better battery, but look how big your case is. Shorter battery, but much more compact and ready to go. So back to the Bose wireless. When I bought these, they were $129. They have these on Amazon for $89. Bucks. So these obviously are the most um, economical option. These also have controls on the earbuds. These are a very good option. Not bad at all. But I wanted to show you all the options in case, you know, you're like, I'm not spending $250 or even $200 or even $160 on a pair of headphones. Get it. Got it. Okay. So you can get these at about 89 bucks and they are 
amazing. There are also some options even cheaper than this out there that um, have good reviews. So check them out, read some reviews because I know there are some bargains out there for those who don't want to spend this kind of money on their headphones. I get that, I totally understand. So these have six hours of battery life per charge. So very close with the Apple, with the AirPods, but not as good as the Powerbeat Pro. So remember that, but six hours is pretty good. Very good option. I would definitely check these out if you are interested in some headphones with great sound and not going to kill your pocket. That is all I have today um, for you. I have reviewed the Powerbeats Pro. Price point is $159 to $249, depending on where you buy it and what colors you get. Excellent headphones, awesome battery life, the best battery life out of all of them, the most security and freedom when you're running and just a really good purchase and I'm very happy with them. The Apple AirPods, great for every day, very compact, um, traveling, five hours of listening time with a 24 hour charging case. Um, not very sweat proof if you ask me, they, they don't have the security that you need, but when you are not running or working out or maybe if you're doing a lighter workout, they will work perfectly for you. The sound is really good. They're very mobile, very portable because of their size. And I just overall love these things. So another good buy. And last but not least, the Bose Sound Sport, very sweat proof, made for you to sweat in them actually. And very affordable, a price point of $89 to $129. Um, they come in several different colors. I will put the link below to these as well. Um, they have up to six hours per charge, which is very good. You don't have to carry any kind of wireless charging case with them. Just plug them in the wall, make sure they're charged, and then they're ready to go for you in the morning. So this is also another option. And not to mention all the many options of headphones that I have never tried. I hope some of the things that I told you about these headphones help you to determine what kind of headphones might be the best for you. They may not be any of these, but all I can give you is my experience with what I have. And I will tell you, all three of these are phenomenal choices, and but there are a ton more out there. So I hope you find the right pair for you. Hopefully this review is helpful for you in some way. And if you're a person who likes to run with something in their ear the way I do, I hope you find your choice that works best for you. That is very important if you are a person who likes to listen while you run. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button below so you can see more content and more videos on running and the running lifestyle and just a healthy lifestyle overall. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and leave me a comment below. Let me know what headphones you're using. Let other viewers know what headphones you're using and how you like them. And for me, let me know what you like to listen to when you run. Is it music? Is it audiobooks? Podcast? What's your favorite podcast? I mean, let's talk about it. If you haven't already, please also go check out my blog on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It's my daily run journey, and I like to share my run journey and also sharing some of yours. So please check that out. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, B. If you made it this far in the video, please put what's in your ear below. Let me know you made it this far. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am so grateful for every minute, second, hour, however long that you spend with me. I am grateful for your time. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, are you in?